Hi guys, today we're making a Japanese lantern in 5 minutes. And if you're a beginner, I recommend watching through the video once to get a feel for what we're doing. Alright, let's jump into Blender. Alright, let's get started on the lantern. Click Shift A and add a UV sphere, change it to 64 rings, scale it down a little bit and go into edit mode, change your vertices, turn on x-ray by clicking this button, then deselect everything, click B to select with box selection and select half the vertices including the middle one, then click E to extrude and extrude it down a little bit. Now we have the basic shape of the lantern. Now click Ctrl R and scroll up to add some cuts. Then alt control one of these edges to select the whole row and then click F3 and search for checker deselect to select every other one. Now click F3 again and search for loops and make sure you click on select loops edge loops. This will select all the loops based on the edges we selected earlier. Now let's scale this out a little bit so zoom in first. Click S to scale and then shift Z to scale on the X and Y axis. Go to modifiers and add a subdivision surface modifier. Let's increase this to 2. Now click control B to bevel these edges slightly. Click shift D to duplicate them. Click S to stop them from moving then click p and then selection to separate them in into their own object now let's rename this to lantern and the second one to metal frame now let's scale this metal frame in a little bit so it doesn't intersect with the lantern so click s shift z and scale it in a little bit and now let's add some thickness to the metal frame so let's add a solidify modifier and move it to the top of the modifier stack now select everything and click f3 and search for shade smooth to smooth it now let's add a text element by clicking shift a then text and for the text itself I'll just paste in some Japanese letters. This says Ryori which means food and if you need some Japanese words I put some in the description with translations so you can just copy and paste from there. Then go into text settings, click on font, click the folder icon to choose a font and I'm using this font. This is a free font you can get on Google fonts and there's a link for it in the description so let's just open this and on some fonts you will get some artifacts like this. To fix this enable fast editing then go into object, convert, convert to mesh, select everything in edit mode and click F to fill them with face now let's put the text in position where you want it and go into modifiers, add a shrink wrap modifier, click the eyedropper tool and select the lantern and for the wrap method let's change it to project and enable negative. Now we have some problems because it's intersecting with a lamp. A quick way to fix this is to go into edit mode, select everything, click X and then choose limited dissolve. This will delete excessive vertices. Then click ctrl T to triangulate this, go back into object mode. Now let's add a subdivision modifier and let's turn the levels to 2 and if we disable enable it, you see that it changes the shape a little bit but I kind of want to fix this part so to fix this go into edit mode select an edge on the corner like this click ctrl E and choose edge crease and turn it all the way up this will tighten up the corner so it looks better now let's move the subdivision modifier on top of the modifier stack open a shrink wrap modifier settings and let's increase the offset a little bit like this now select the text and shade smooth it by searching for smooth and choosing shade smooth now let's make this black part at the top and bottom so click shift A and add a circle let's move it up and and put it into position. We can also intersect it slightly with the lantern. Now go into edit mode by clicking tab, A to select everything, E to extrude it up on the Z axis. Now select everything again, click E to extrude, click S to stop it from moving, click Alt S to move it outwards like this. Now click A to select everything, Shift D to duplicate it and let's move it down to the bottom here. And for the last part, let's select a face on the top one, Control L to select the whole mesh here, then Shift D to duplicate it. Now click R and then X to rotate it on the X axis, click 90 to rotate it 90 degrees then let's scale it down a little bit click shift h to solo it and let's go into x-ray mode now deselect everything with alt a then click b to box select it and let's delete the bottom here now we have a nice handle on top too now select the object and search for shade smooth to smooth it then add a smooth by angle modifier and if you like fast tutorials like this one make sure to follow as i post videos like this every week now let's do the materials so turn on render preview click the arrow down and let's disable scene world but make sure you keep scene lights enabled because we will need this later Later. And let's change the strength down to 0.1. Now let's do the easy materials first. So select this one, go into materials, add a new one, and let's make it dark gray, something like this. Let's also make it metallic. Now go into the material nodes, add a bevel node. Let's connect the normal into normal, and let's turn the radius down to 0.1. This will add a nice edge to the material here. Now select the text and add the same material, but let's duplicate it and turn down metallic to zero. And now let's make the lantern material. So click new here, add a mix shader node, put it here, and then 
and also add a translucent node and connect this output into the second shader input. Now let's preview the translucent node and let's make it a nice red-ish color like this. Now let's add a light inside the lantern. So click shift A and add a point light. Let's move it into position. I like to keep it a little bit over the middle. Let's increase the power to 1500. Now go back into the lantern material and let's preview the mix shader node and let's add a noise texture node. Connect the noise into the factor on the mix shader and let's change the scale to 50 and details all the way up to 15. Let's also add a color ramp and put it here and play with the black and white value here until it looks good. Now let's try to add some reflections like that to our scene. So let's add a area light and put it behind the light. Then let's scale it on Z axis to make it tall like this and increase the power to something like 100. Let's also add it to the other side here. Now for the last part, let's add a bump node and connect the noise texture factor into the height on the bump node and connect the normal into normal. And let's turn the strength down to 0 0.5. And this will just add some nice surface details to the lantern. And that's about it. Now you have a Japanese lantern in about five minutes. Thanks for watching and see you next time.